Welcome to One How To, where today we are going to show you massage techniques to relieve pain and tension in the cervical neck area. We are going to relax the cervical area while the person is face down. We can always apply a little oil or ointment, first relaxing the whole area by kneading well. You can use your knuckles. We do not just treat the neck area, but this massage also helps work the shoulders and the trapezius muscle, which goes down there. We need further and go down the lines here once the muscles are warmed up. First, we make smooth circles and we move over the trapezius area smoothly and progressively. We can do it three, five, ten times, depending on what's needed. This should provide a lot of relief already, but we need to go over the whole shoulder area which can often carry a lot of pain. We keep kneading the shoulder line and we can do this three, five or how many times we need. Once the musculature is tender, we can start along the lines again. We place our thumbs like so and begin to follow the lines down. This area can be sensitive, so we begin by making it soft and then increasing the pressure little by little. Here we can see some of the most tension in a person and we can feel the muscles progressively relax. In this zone, there are often contractions, something you would be able to work on with a full body massage, as you can focus more on full body lines. But for now, we just want to focus on the cervical neck area. Don't forget that, after putting harder pressure on the lines, we need to relax the muscles. We can also put pressure points on places where contractions often occur. Do one side first, then the other. Counting to five. You will be able to tell how tense the person's body is by how they react to your touch. Don't be too aggressive. We can do the same line, then we can move on to the full back area, starting to make the lines which go along the sides of the spine, from the neck to the lower back. With these movements and kneading along the line, we can relax the entire neck area. We move so we can do this next part from here. We put two of our fingers together and find the spine. Work this area and from here what we can do is press with our hand to give it more intensity. Work the area around the spine and continue just until the point where it hurts quite a lot. Moving here so, little by little, we can feel it relax. 
it's important that we use some cream or oil on the area so that the fingers travel smoothly and don't stick near the spine. We continue using this V shape around the spine. And then, very importantly, knead the entire cervical area. One useful thing to do is to take the shoulder blade in one hand and move it forward, the other hand going over the neck backwards. This relaxes the musculature a lot and we can counterbalance it by doing the same on the other side. Then we always return to the cervical area and make small waves up and down to the base of the skull, moving the muscles well so that they are relieved of tension little by little. We can also relax the shoulder area with these movements, kneading from behind. Repeat kneading, go along the lines, add some waves, very good. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and head over to our channel to see more massage technique tutorials. We'll see you next time.